everyone. August the 17th came with the new rules across the country regarding buyers, agents, commissions. And due to so much information being broadcasted by the media, it has created mass confusion. So many questions. To put it simply, two things changed. One, a buyer's agent commission cannot be displayed on MLS or any site connected to MLS. And two, a buyer has to have a buyer's representation agreement with their agent defining the commission to be paid by the buyer to their agent prior to viewing any home. No exceptions. This fee can be paid by the buyer, seller, or listing broker. I believe the direction this is heading in is that a seller will pay for their agent and a buyer will pay for theirs. It is getting there. It's just a bit confusing. Interest rates have come down again. Rates have come down nearly a half a percent from the beginning of August and are currently hovering around 6.35%. It is generally believed that the Fed will reduce their rate when they meet in September. At the beginning of September, we had 221 homes on the market. This is now up 44% from a year ago when we had 154 homes on the market. This past month, we had 111 homes come on the market. In August of 2023, we had 100 homes come on the market. This is 11% more homes that came on the market in August 2024 as compared to August 2023. Year to date, we have sold 998 homes, almost identical to the number of homes sold year to date at this time last year when we had sold 999 homes. Average days on market for last month was 40 days. The average days on market for all of 2023 was 38 days. List price sales price ratio average for the last month is at 96%. The average for 2023 was 94%. Also, I like to track for the month the maximum amount paid over list price for homes sold in less than 10 days. And in August, that was 9% over list. The average was 100% of list. Interesting fact, 54% 54, 54 of the homes sold in August sold in less than 10 days. The average closed price per square foot for all price ranges for May was $290. The average year to date is $256 and the average for last year was $241. There's currently 2.4 months of inventory overall in the woodlands. Showings in August this year were up 9% from last August. In summary, listings to continue to go up this month. Year-to-date sales have leveled out with last year. The average price per square foot is overall about 7% higher than last year's average. Months of inventory remains very low. Interest rates have trended down since the beginning of May, when they were roughly 7.22%, now at 6.35%. If you have any questions regarding the recent changes that went into effect in August, please let us know. We're here to guide you through this confusion. As always, let us know if you would like to discuss this, and please share all this information with your friends that can be found on our website, michelleflory.com. We thank you for joining us today and we hope you and yours have a wonderful Labor Day and that it's safe. Thank you again and we look forward to seeing you again soon.